Hello Axolots, I'm sure you're all wondering why we're here today. How exactly are we in this predicament right now? Why exactly is there an egg on my head? What is that thing in the back displaying an ominous message? All will be answered in due time. So a while ago, my mom asked me if I wanted to dye my hair and I said yes. It is indeed on my bucket list of things to do one day. A decision that will surely change a lot of my appearance, something I am bound to look forward to in the far future. Then she booked an appointment for the next day. Alright, probably not the most well thought out of decisions, but we've been doing things impulsively for 17 years now, so I don't see why it's time to stop. Now, I've thought of dyeing my hair pink before, if the wig here isn't a clue. But I always thought that I simply did not fit the look. Uh, perhaps bright colors simply did not work on my face. Then, I had a brilliant idea. Why not dye strands of pink? Thus, we move on to section A. Dracula, what the frick? Dracula's hair. See, stripes seem like it would take less work since there's less things to dye. But unfortunately, that is not the case. It will take more work, apparently, to separate these strands out. And that's not all. I will have to determine the placement of each strand precisely, map it out, and show it to the hairdresser in a 360 view. Or I could just find a photo I liked on Pinterest. So the search began, and I narrowed down my findings to these three. I figured that this one would happen on its own eventually, after either one of these. So we got rid of that option. Then I did intense thinking to figure out which of these two would fit me more. By asking my friends since I have no sense of authority over myself. They chose this one, which I agree with. I was hyped and ready. The morning, one hour before the appointment, my mom got chased by bees on our patio. So my brother had to hose her down in a panic. <laughs> That should have been a warning sign from whatever higher being exists, but we pushed through anyways and ended up in the salon a few minutes early. I was really starting to feel the vibes until the hairdresser informed us it would take about six bleaches to get the color that I want. What? What? Oh fuck. <laughs> I was so jo jaw dropped that my mask dropped. What? Each bleach would be about 45 minutes, perhaps even an hour if my hair was feeling a bit feisty, a bit sticky to its melanin. But we were already there and there was no turning back. I readied myself for the 8 hour journey this would probably take as my mom planned out her ditching. The first bleach coat went on and since it was my first time bleaching my hair, I was quite unused to the smell. I made sure to write down my feelings on my notes app so I could accurately describe the sensation afterwards but all I wrote down was a poem. <clears throat> A sensation I have never experienced pierces my very senses, leaving me aghast at the wonder of what I have yet to face in life. A murky smell is supposed to be clean yet leaves me feeling tainted, a wish for nose plugs coming forward so that I will not have fainted. Basically, it was a bad smell. Not sewer bad or garbage bad, but it was just weird. I don't know why I was so dramatic, I think I was just extremely bored. After the aluminum foils were on, I waited about 15 minutes before we went to wash it off. I didn't know what I was expecting, but it certainly wasn't for the bleach to work its magic so fast. I looked like a whole tiger with an orange and black thing going on. I thought I'd get like a light brown, not full on the mandarin orange. But it was certainly a look as well. Apparently, my hair bleaches quite easily, so that is great news. I ended up only having to bleach it three times instead of six. I am God's favorite! My mom ditched, so then my brother came to film me instead, meaning he was doomed to sit and wait for four hours with me. It's okay, I'm paying him in pennies. I entertain myself by watching history videos from Oversimplified, so now I can recount to you pivotal moments of World War II. Also, I'm a history student, I should, pr should probably know that from that. By the third bleach, I had gotten the color of morning sun rays, 
or piss. The hairdresser decided that this was enough and we were good to go. She started applying this orangey tone, which combined with the yellow will manifest the perfect shade of bubblegum pink. Why is that so, you may ask? Well, as someone who has studied the highs and lows of uh, color theory and have been drawing for many years studying how tones work, I can efficiently tell you that I have no idea how this works. I thought orange plus yellow would make yellowy orange or perhaps orangey yellow. But nonetheless, the result was finished. And I present to you Feline's Pink. <laughs> So this is the final product. Uh, I can't see shit, give me a second. Where are my glasses? I quite like it. The stripes are thicker than the pictures I showed the hairdresser and they are more stuck together rather than like separated but I think it still looks nice. I'm really happy with the color especially. This is a very nice color. I want to eat my own hair. I put on a nice blouse that I think fits the hairstyle. I'm also wearing gym shorts underneath, but you can't see that, so that's fine. So, pros and cons. Pros, it looks really nice. Cons, I can't walk normally because I'm so scared that one wrong jostle will make all my strands go flying everywhere. Okay, where the hell's the camera? Will I do this again? Probably not. It is a lot of effort and it fades in a week. That's what the hairdresser told me. It's gonna fade in a week and it's gonna become this like yellowy pink color. So I sat there on my ass for six hours and it's gonna be gone in a week. But overall, very nice, very happy with it. Tell me what you think. You can't tell that I dyed my hair if you just look at it from the back. It's just blackness. Very epic. Okay, I can reveal. I can reveal the hair now. It's probably all mushed up from the beanie. Ah, I got it retouched up a few days ago because it was starting to get really light. You wanna see a magic trick? Skinny. Thick. Oh, my bangs, my my bangs. Oh, oh no, my, my bangs. What is this Illuminati? Good enough. So now let's talk about this little guy over here. I like to write encouraging messages on him to get me up and pumping in the morning. His name? is EXO. I named him after you all. You are welcome. I refuse to play child support. The Voom actually kindly sent this to me. My favorite thing about this besides the fact that it uh, uh, kinda matches my hair and absolute camouflage is number one, the Bluetooth speaker function. Number two, the custom alarm system. <laughs> 420. <laughs> Humor. Oi! Wake your ass up! Oi! Wake your ass up! And number three, little pink bird dancing. All of these is controllable on your phone. You just have to download the app. Oh my god, it's the little pink bird dancing and, and piss. If you're interested, you can check out the links in my description. And there is actually also a code you can use for a 5% discount. I have become a slave to pink material items. With that being said, let me know how you feel about the pink hair. If you like it, then awooga because I like it too. If you don't, I don't know bro, wear sunglasses or something because I'm not getting rid of this until it grows out on its own. So just one more thing before you go. I love you. Wait. I love you. No! No Christmas! Give me back the heart that says hot! I love you! You fucker. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!